I had to speak on this subject because um, a lot of people expect me to, pretty much. Um, the president had a couple shoes thrown at him the other day. And you look at the big picture, he said, we Americans deserve somebody to throw shoes at our president. No, we do not deserve nobody to throw shoes at that man. I don't give a damn how bad he was or whatever he did. He still represents the United States of America. And when you can laugh at someone doing something to our leader, then what's going to happen when we got this new leader? A lot of people don't like him because he's black. I said it. He's black. Regardless of birth certificate, all this crap or whatever, no person deserves to disrespect America in the way America has been disrespected by this man having shoes thrown at him. Me, if I was George Bush, I would have caught that shoe and threw it back at his ass. George is pretty limber. You see him. He can probably join the NBA with them moves. George, had, he might be a boxer too. He was, now, America may have done some things that America is not proud of. But every country does things that they're not proud of. Not every American backs our government. I back our government, right or wrong. It's the only government I have. See, people fail to realize when you're on a boat, don't kill the captain. Now, regardless of what George did, regardless of how George did what George did, George is the only president we have until we have another one. We don't have another one yet. We voted on one. He's not in office yet. I don't want anybody disrespecting that president either. Because he represents all of us. Right or wrong. Right or wrong. He represents us. You either stand with our leaders or you stand against our leaders. Regardless of what they have in store for us, we still have the power to control them. If a loophole will keep you from losing your house, then loopholes will keep us from losing our country. If everything is based on the words that are written, how the words are written, how the words are received, deciphered. We can use these same words that are used to bind us, to free us. So when you see people laughing because George Bush had a couple of shoes thrown at him, that upsets me. What's going to happen if somebody tries to throw something at the next president? Is it going to be funny? Ha ha ha! He deserved it! No. Right or wrong, this man represents the United States of America. And he happens to be on his way out. Why is it when somebody's on their way out, society likes to give them a nudge, a shove, they beat little Clinton on the way out. They beat little Bush the whole time he was in office. What will they do for Mr. Obama? You can't be everyone's friend, my grandmother said. You can't make everyone be your friend. So, what's going to happen if somebody tries to throw something at Barack? You're going to say, oh, it's okay. He's just the president of America and he's fucking up. Yes, I used language in this video. Dennis Miller used language on his political show on HBO. He was on there a while. 
language is a part of America because everyone in America cusses even the little baby who says shit for the first time is an American cussing has been part of America since America was founded when you step in dog poop what's the first thing you say when you stub your toe what's the first thing you say when you walk outside and notice your car has been stolen what is the first thing you say someone wants to disrespect your kids what's the first thing you do if something went down at school that is not good and you think the school was wrong what do you go say to the people at school if someone is pushing your child around and you see this what do you do you get in an argument with your spouse and things aren't good what do you say you're confronted by a bunch of people who have been drinking too much and they're talking to you in a manner that you don't want to listen to how do you respond you tell me Americans don't cuss you show me a bunch of people if you carry yourself in such high regards understand this you only carry yourself my needs my wants what I need to do to survive in life have nothing to do with you if I was gay and my boyfriend Jonathan Frederick the third decide to walk behind me right now with no shirt on and say hey baby how you doing what would you say that see what you do what I do what they do or she does or her and him whatever you do in life is not directly linked to everybody else like you think so if two people are fighting down the street and one gets stabbed and is rushed off to the hospital are you hurting are you in pain do you hurt when someone else is hurting are you selfish what are you you are a human being and every single human being deserves a basic respect no matter what color they are no matter who they are regardless of what language they speak or what government they may represent there's a basic human respect that we need to practice on each other so regardless of what kind of person I may be, he may be, she may be, they are, them people, the man, those girls over there, regardless of what we are, we all deserve and demand a basic human respect. That basic respect transcends all, I say, all religion every constitution on the planet and basic respect for one another that that basic human respect that we need to have in order to be a solid society does not exist in the way we live in today's society we all every one of us have earned a basic human respect now do you understand the crux of this video you've been too